we move forward into the second half. Darius. Further snap. Off uh, illegal motion, 57. Five yard penalty, still fourth down. So the fumble coming again. Darius. Defense for the Colts. Offense. 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 Number 77. Five yard penalty. The action Rodgers and now plenty of time and he's going long and he's looking for Jordy Nelson down the middle of the field and I cannot believe wow. that there's no laundry on the field I Jordy Nelson was run into I believe it was Nate Clements or Leon Hall who were both down splitting coverage I think it was Leon who ran directly into him long before the ball got to him right there you see the contact and there was no looking back for the ball I am in agreement with you, Brad, I think there should have been a penalty. The Bengals get one there. <laughs> that was down at the two-yard line, first and goal. No flag. Replacement referee. Second. It up there. Just short penalty flag on the play. Now, which way will this one go? There was contact with Ajira Tutu and Allen Ball. This one might be on the offense. Pass interference. Defense. Number 36. Ball replacements. Now the foul. Five yard line. First down. You've seen this throw a few times by Derek Anderson all night where the ball is out before anybody is looking. When his receiver turns around, the ball is right there for him to catch. And the defender hooks. Hooks 2-2. Two -two. And, you know, the break for the Panthers. They get inside the five. <laughs> We'd like to thank the officiating crew tonight for that one. <laughs> Greg Ochoa has taken a look at all of the video available to him. And complete. Let's see how he works the microphone. <laughs> Upon further review, the play is confirmed on the field that the player was out of bounds. His left foot was on the sideline. Arizona would be now charged to timeout. It would be fourth down and eight from the 43. And uh, neither will Atlanta be charged to timeout. <laughs> They'll be happy to hear in Arizona that their first half three timeouts are still intact, but they are disappointed to find out here in Atlanta. They're nervous, I'm telling you. Let's take a look again at the spot and why they're reviewing this. <laughs> Maybe why it's taken so long. And you watch. His backside's down right at that 46 yard line. That looks about where the ball is. First down, Tampa Bay. And it's a first down. Are you concerned about the replacement officials opening the regular season on September the 9th? Yes. You don't want, you don't want to expound on that? You, I don't think well, can, they, can nobody, they find a broadcaster. Nobody can find you. <laughs> right. Somebody had a suggestion and said if any players or owners get fined, take the money towards the fine and pay it to the referees who, who are not at work so that you can get the regular officials back in. However, we can solve things. On first and ten, players are concerned as well, and I'm sure coaches are. And these guys are trying, these replacement officials. Yeah, they're just called in to yeah. do the job, and they, you know, this is a yeah. first-time experience at this level for them, for many That's of them. That's right. Well, look out one more time. Trying to catch up on some NFL news and 
uh, maybe have been out most of the day. The NFL announced today that the replacement referees, regardless of what happens in the negotiations with the regular referees, these replacement refs will work week one of the regular season schedule. And, you know, it's a shame. And, and I'm, I don't want to get into all the depths of it, but every coach and every player in the league wants the regular refs. Uh, this is a prime example right here. We've got coaches on the field, and uh, nobody seems to be taking control. I need a table. We have fouls by both teams during the kick. We have illegal shift by the kicking team. After the kick, the other rep is yelling both on the kicking team. And then after the kick, we have a 15-yard penalty. Chosen to re-kick, five-yard penalty. Did you write that down? <laughs> and again, I'm not trying to make fun of these guys because no. they're, they're, they're being retrained with different rules and faster players. It's hard and under the best it, of circumstances. I didn't expect a whole lot from the replacement officials in the preseason, and I don't think we've gotten a whole lot. We, we want the regular reps back in time, and I think we'll get them. They're working their tails off. They're working as hard as they can. A lot of the games have gone by without a problem, but at the end of the day, <laughs> This is supposed to be a high-quality NFL product, and we've got to get it there. We've seen stalemates like this in other sports. Uh, the NBA has gone through a bunch of labor negotiations, and, and what they have found, I guess, in the history of these kinds of things is that uh, the original offer... A correction on the reporting of the foul. Both teams were on the, both, up, both fouls were on the kicking team. Five-yard penalty. Sometimes that first offer doesn't change all that much. Nonetheless, I think, I think you've mapped it out well that, uh, that the league would like to see them back, and, and uh, in due time, I'm sure they will be back. Although Tom Coughlin right now is wondering... when that is. his touchdown but the other one's given the signal that would be an interception and now we have days of conversation about what happened now, this is too much at stake and officials shouldn't be deciding the outcome of this game and it wasn't just that play it was a play that led up to it but clearly russell wilson does a great job scrambling it's that type of play let your receivers disperse in the end zone golden tate forget about him pushing off clearly on shields mb jennings intercepted that pass and game over, Green Bay wins. I give Golden Tate credit in a pile of bodies scrambling until the end. There's the push off. There's the interception by Jennings. He's got the ball in his chest. Um, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Uh, it, there's not much to say. It looked like Jennings had control for us. Let me bring in Jerry Austin. He's been watching us on Monday nights. Jerry Austin, 27 years, an official in the NFL, referee for two Super Bowls. Take us through what you see on this play. Uh, well, as, as John said, on a jump ball, you pretty much just let everything go and who comes down with it. Now, Jennings has the ball. He comes to the ground, brings it to his chest. He's established possession, established control, then possession. He's on the ground with the ball. All Tate has is his arm in there on the ball. So it's going to belong to the player that has the ball at the, at the end of the play. And to me, that appears to be Jennings. Now, Jerry, let's keep this replay running and watch the official over here who was at the pylon. He comes in and clearly signals touchdown as he looks in the pile. The other official working from the back, wearing number 84, comes in and gives what is normally the timeout signal. Would that indicate to you interception? That would inter indicate to me that he's stopping the clock and he's going to give a touchdown sig I mean a touchback signal because the ball is in the possession of the defense. You can see it right there. Jennings has the ball against his. All Tate has is an arm in there. And this official appears he's going to stop the clock and give a touchback signal. 